guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World! I have finally decided what I want to do! And it's a good thing I stopped for a few days, because I found out something really awesome that's and it's going to help in my favor in more ways than one. So in a way, I'm very fortunate. First things first, we're going to go to the shop. And we're going to buy... Dang it. I'll buy a couple of various. Man. There's a reason I'm buying that, which won't come into play for a little bit. But this is on my way to the shop. We're gonna go to, back to Mount Panorama really quick. Because there is thing there now that I need to trigger. I know there's stuff in the drill tunnel I haven't that's available now that I haven't done yet, but that's probably gonna be one of the last things I do and there's a reason for that. Avoid these jerks. And you guys too. And yeah, you're hungry. Give me one second, honey, and I'll feed you. Can you move any slower? Get your butt over here. Okay, you're good. Okay. Then we're gonna go back to the spore area here. You guys remember way back when? Over... Oh, you need to poop now. You, can need, you need to wait a minute. Now, there's more crop circles over here. Now, I'm not sure what triggers the second set. I think you need a certain amount of prosperity points, but how many, I don't know. So now that we've triggered the second set, we're going to go back to town. statue of us in an awkward position. How does the thing stand and not fall over? Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the newspaper. And now that we've triggered the second set of crop circles and we've seen them, we're gonna get this thing. Now, if you notice, the newspapers go from 6 to 8. That's because the 7th newspaper, we haven't triggered it. It follows number 6. So, I'm going to wait until that hour passes. Cause it's, gonna, I don't know if it's going to go underneath that, because I want that protection floppy. Do you have it, monochrome on? Somebody has it. Because I prefer that. There we go. No. Over the various floppies. <coughs> okay, so now we're gonna go back to Mount Panorama again. Hi, Bakuman. Yep, I was running to him. Don't want that. A little glitch on top of the screen there. to the Japanese written sign entrance. Get in there! I love how they put through as in, like, drive through. It's like, use proper English. It's like, do they just run out of text or something? Or text space, rather, you know what I mean. Those, like, dead traffic lights that were just on the screen there. <coughs> Back up here, we... Yeah. And holy crap, there's a bunch more. Um... 
Um. Yeah, I just said that. Oh no, it's Roswell. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, Jesus. It's Vedamon. He's an alien. And Vedamon's like, what? And we're like, English, fucking, do you speak it? And, oh crap. Well, if you didn't answer you the first two times, how is that gonna work? He didn't say anything. Oh, oh, now we try to convince him. And Vedamon's still like, what? I speak English and what? <laughs> Alright, enough of the lame Samuel L. Jackson references. And Vedamon's just like, okay, yeah, whatever. And we're like, what the hell, man? What the hell? So Vedamon is going to join this city. He's gonna work random shifts in the restaurant. So we're gonna go back to town again. Because he brings our prosperity points up to 51. And that triggers something very important. Number one, if you look at the house right now, Gigimon's house has now been upgraded. And it will remain that way. I love the TV outside there. I've actually used her much more back yet. I did a lot of, like, practicing off-screen and stuff like that, so I don't know what the freak day it is anymore. Half the time. Do you have my sirloin yet? No. Okay. So I'd like to show everyone, even though I've been abusing safe states minorly, mostly for techniques, it's only day three. We haven't even passed the first year yet, which obviously occurs um, after day 30, it rolls over to the next year. So let's talk to, and of course the interior is different, and there's going to be a back room here as well. Not that there's really anything important back here. Oh my god, I never noticed there's a, um, on the TV there's a little Palmon and a little Betamon figurine, and there's the devices on the wall. And a really bad drawing of, I think, a Tyrannomon on that calendar there. Oh my... This is a cardboard box! You see, like, the symbols here on the wall? Oh my god, it's a freaking cardboard box! Holy crap! <laughs> it's awesome! Lame, but awesome! Cardboard boxes are cool, guys. And there's more device on the wall, and he's got a stove and everything now. Oh, he's really upgraded now. Uh, I can't tell who's on that poster there. It kind of looks like some weird... Looks like freaking Chip and Dale. I don't know. Who gives it? And there's more figurines on there. Let's see. I see a uh, Tyranimon, and a Kunimon, and a Waymon, and an Anjumon, a Tanamon, a what I think is a there, and I can't tell who's that funky one that looks like it has a pair of red boxing gloves on, but whatever. Let's talk to Digimon. Finally, the day has come! And we're like, what? <laughs> Entrance to Mount of Inf uh, <laughs> Infinity appeared. Uh, Mount Infinity is the final dungeon in the game. Which we're not gonna do for a long, long time. Yeah, remember the waterfalls at the north of the city? That's gonna be gone now. Gosh, it's so close. Yeah, it was right in front of us the whole damn time. Because apparently we don't know how to jump under it like a salmon does. I just said that! Yeah, he's not joking, folks. Yeah, I want your other... Yeah, he went to the restaurant, but he's, oh, he's random. Yeah, 51! Now that we've triggered the opening of Mount Infinity... Oh god, my cat thinks I'm talking to her. We have an event that's going to happen, so make sure you're healed up before you leave his house. Because you're going to be attacked by Erdramon. Who's just like Greymon and apparently is sneaking us out. How do we establish that? Maybe he just wants to kick our ass like Greymon does. And 
And this is why I wanted this protection. Oh. There we go. My, uh, analog sticks accidentally turned on. We want the protection floppy for this, because one of the attacks he uses is Confusion Storm, which confuses you a lot. So I want some defense against that. That's Confusion Storm right there. Which very frequently confuses you. And when we're confused, we just hang around like a nutcase and don't really make much progress in the battle. Sorry. I'm having a lot easier time than I usually am. Probably because I'm stunning the crap out of them. I need an MP. Oh, well, he's not that hard, but that confusion is kind of confusing. It can be a pain in the butt. Yeah, I hate healing this often, but I don't have a lot of HP, so. Haha! face! No. And he passes out again. And for some idiotic reason, we go back to Gigi Mon's house and I'm taking him across the street to the clinic. Dummy. Yeah, no, we're gonna slack off for like the next like 20 something days. Trust me. <laughs> Go back in there. Sorry for that burp. Can you say anything different right now? No. But we can, uh, Air Jermon is gonna stay in this bed sleeping until we beat the final boss, after which he will join the city, because yes, there is post-boss game, final boss game content in this game. And just to show you Mount Infinity, which we are not going to go in, because we're going to get our asses handed to us. See, now the waterfall is gone. We can cross over, and the, the door has actually been here the whole time, but it was always blocked by the waterfall. Now we can go there anytime we damn well please. And no, there is no penalty for waiting before you tackle Mount Infinity. None at all. So pretty much you can do anything else you want to win the game. And everything will resume as normal. Oh, my cat's being a nutcase again, sorry. But anyway, um, our Bakuman is age 9. I've already advanced ahead in the game, um, off screen. My Bakuman's gonna die on day 14, which is about typical for a champion. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Haha, <laughs> he ate my head. Haha. <laughs> Look, I got a Pokemon head! Alright, enough of that lameness. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna train for a few days until I get up to day 14, because I need to waste some time anyway, and I want to get stronger. Um, when I come back, I'm going to showcase a glitch that is going to work massively, massively in my favor for stuff I want to do. It's not going to get me everywhere I want to do, uh, the, everything I want to do, until I tackle Mount Infinity, but it will certainly get me pretty far in the right direction, and will let me take care of stuff I wouldn't, uh, I didn't have plans to be available for me to do until much later, so... Stay tuned, and we'll be back. Okay. Alright, just to pop in real quick, I did actually run and ignore that speed up and everything. Uh, Vatamon in the restaurant. So this is just showing what he, um... Yeah, your, uh, points actually go up a little bit more with him, but he appears randomly in the restaurant, so... Yeah, see, I got everything to go up there. I just thought I'd show you guys that. It literally happened like five minutes after I stopped the last time. So just to show you what Vatamon's got in the restaurant there. You can keep, obviously keep going in and out until you get him, but there's another Digi Digimon in the restaurant who we'll get much later that is even better. So, awesome. Back to training. <laughs> 